Hello, everyone. We will be joining you momentarily. Aww. Aww, moments. Aww. Disclaimer before you listen, if you are offended by anything at all, don't listen to this show. Why? Because we just don't give a fuck. If you're still here, enjoy the show. Oh, oh. oh what oh. the fuck? Here we go again. What the fuck is that? It's just, I don't know where this countdown comes from. I don't, hey, I don't know. Shit, it's live fire, Steven! What He's the right fuck? There. What's up, guys? Wait, killer bathtub square is empty. I thought we changed the locks. I, I thought so too, but where'd killer bathtub thief. go? Aww. <laughs> and what's going on, everyone? You are tuned into the Studio One podcast. I am A Cortez. Live fire. Angry Elvis. And no KBT. Sad face. Well, you are tuned in to Studio One. Studio One. <laughs> oh shit! Welcome back, Live Fire. How oh. was your second vacation from Florida? <laughs> it, it was all right. It was it was, was a it lot a pain of driving. In the mass? <laughs> it was a pain in the mass. <laughs> <laughs> a pain in the mass. Why is this? Something seems off here. It Maybe really just... um, drove me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. I think I got him in the wrong ears. <laughs> I, yeah, I was I, I was steering for something else, but I just didn't know what. <laughs> oh, vi video quality looks really good tonight. Well, well, thank you, Eli. Aside from my face. Oh, hi, Eli. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm noticing when we pipe in a Skype feed, our quality drops a little bit. Get some better equipment. Uh, well, we need to get some new cameras. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. We do need new cameras. We do. And, um, and. As you see on the floor behind me, we had to take the green screen down. Like, subscribe, and contribute. Yeah, like, subscribe. You may contribute. Can, um, can I get some lace hole for my mic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Eli says, hey, Brian. Huh? Eli said, hey, Brian. Hello. He says, hello. Who the fuck is Brian? Um, He's the guy that looks like Live Fire. Oh. I think he saw him in the kitchen since Live Fire oh. is not there. Yeah. Um, But anyway, we have... I'm very excited about today. Now, as all of you who watch know, I've been working with my friend Pat Knox, who works at Pat Knox Films. Oh, live fire. Oh, baby. And today, we have the very first clip that's going to be shown from this movie. I oh, still yeah. can't tell you the title. I can't tell you anything. The teasers are coming, hopefully, for next week. But we are going to show you a little clip at the end of this first segment i'm fucking excited on that note is uh pappy knox in the room pappy knox. Pappy knox. no he is not grand pappy knox Gra oh yeah grand pappy knox now why is my screen weird i didn't have the analytics on so six people with us right now hey six people hey Hi. six people oh. looking pretty sexy out there I don't see Ross in here. <laughs> Ross, where the fuck are you? Where is Ross? I don't know, but he better watch his six. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to start off uh, with our kind of new thing. Hey, Angry Elvis. Or you could get your 60 up. Don't mind me. Oh. Oh, I'm on it now. It? Oh, he's up. he's up there. What grinds your gears today, Angry Elvis? And don't say traffic. That's been beaten to death. <laughs> About six times. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Ah, oh, shit. Um, 
Does Shit it really grind your gears? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it's, let's just say I dropped a Mega Deuce or two today. But no, um, just the stupidity of people. You and Joe and the stupid people. Yeah. I've just come to accept it as normal in this region that I live in. There's a lot of stupid people. <sighs> well... There's stupid people, and then there's just really old I, people I shouldn't that shouldn't say, be out. I shouldn't say so much stupid as, well, they're stupid for feeling so fucking entitled. Uh, Nowadays, it's always, the customer's right! No, they're usually not. And and it, it could be something from customer service that they just plain fucked up and said, hey, yeah, it's 80 bucks! Well, they come in and we say, oh, well, there's taxes, there's, you know, everything else on it. And they're like, no, they said 80 like, uh, okay, just because someone fucked up at their job doesn't mean that we can break the rules and accommodate that shit. But taxes aren't included in price tags anywhere. And if you well, have you been America. alive for more than 20 years, or on the airlines, you should know sales tax gets added on to almost every motherfucking thing you buy. Except for prostitutes. Well, yeah, that's that's under the table. Well, I don't know. Uh -huh. hey, wink, do you, wink, wink, wink. Do you consider herpes a tax? <laughs> It could be. Or it could, could be, be taxing. But. <laughs> but. Oh, shit. Uh, that all... really, that Eli, you're the only one in the chat today so far. Oh, by the way, thank you, Eli. Thank Things you, shit. Eli. Where, where is that motherfucker? I'm sending I just saw, I just message. saw his name up a little bit higher. Oh, no. He's yeah. right there. Bing, uh. where you at? <laughs> Uh, hey, hey Larry. Larry, what's going on? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so what really grinds my gears? I hate fucking moving shit. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Bay. Like your <laughs> ass off the couch, <laughs> especially after driving for thirty hours. That <laughs> Shauna, hey, 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 hey Shauna. Shauna, can you do me a favor, Shauna, and go in the kitchen, grab me a beer? Oh, I wish yeah. you, uh, we wish you were here. Get yeah, I saw floor. a live fire, and I got yeah. to show him my new uh, my new rig, and I was like, oh, let me show Sean. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I see people trickling in, but we're, we're, like, I I don't ever want to see my father's flatbed trailer ever again. Nope. We've moved so many fucking people and so many fucking houses with that trailer. I've seen enough of it. At least for another five years, I don't want to see it. Unless I'm buying something big and cool. That's a little bit different, but moving grinds my gears for today. Laugh fire. What grinds your gears? Google Maps and the Jersey <laughs> Turnpike. <laughs> Fuck Google New Jersey. Maps in general. I was I was driving back down here and uh, we got into New Jersey and Google Maps. Well, anybody who's driven through New Jersey knows it's a clusterfuck, but uh, Google Maps kept wanting me to go back north. Literally, like four times, it sent me back north. I was getting so pissed off. I, I, I was about ready to just go back and fly home. See, the funny thing is with Jersey, when we moved here, our truck caught fire on the Jersey Turnpike. When my brother-in-law and my sister moved here, um, they got into a car accident. And there was something else that happened to someone else. I think when my brother Corey moved here, something happened. But it all happened in Jersey. Jersey's like, fuck you, Northerners. You're not going any further down south. But we always find a way around it. And I'm going to sneeze. Bless you. Oh, shit. Crispy, you can sit, you know. It's not on camera there if you're not participating. But you no, can sit. I'm just still moving around stuff. I got something cooking in the... I got a spot for you right uh, here. You got something stewing in so the... So, Master... Oh. Master Crispex <laughs> is still in the process of uh, setting up his studio apartment, yeah. and he's in here cooking food right now. But everyone say hi to Master Crispex. There hi. he is. There he is. Um, hopefully he'll be more of a regular on our little clusterfuck of a show, which would be nice. Oh. what I said on the, the whole moving truck exploding situation. I think we covered that in a prior show. Oh, with the uh, Joe, uh, with Killer Bathtub screaming, the truck's on fire. Me sla uh, waking up and slamming my hands on the glass, trying to escape, screaming, it's not supposed to end this way. <laughs> can you guys hear him when he talks, or are we just pausing for no reason? No, I can hear him. Oh, we can hear him. Eli says, hey, Crispix. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, 
Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. What's this? That now? was you. That was me. That was you. Was it really? Yes. I have a new friend suggestion. <laughs> yeah, look, look who it is. Look who it is. Uh, oh. oh boy. Could <laughs> Like, no, no, I'm not going back to that. <laughs> you don't roll backwards. <laughs> like, Jesus, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, someone from my past popped up on a friend's suggestion, and I'm just like, no, no. No, 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 no. So, Lafayette, did you see anything cool while you were away from this house? <sighs> Well, we did find a, uh, when we got down, back down into Florida, uh, over in a small little river area was a uh, abandoned boat. Salvageable? Possibly. It was still floating. We'll have to go get it. I'm totally down. Well, I was also thinking, because you and Shauna researched a lot of abandoned stuff down here, and we have this cool new camera, and we have all this cool equipment. Why don't we start Live Fire's Explorations on YouTube? He can start with me. I've been abandoned a few times. <laughs> yeah, he, he has real abandonment issues. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so on today's episode, we're going to be exploring the abandoned Elvis. Uh, you know what? On second thought, let's abandon that show. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna. It, it's only gonna get like one star, one incher. Hey. <laughs> so I'm gonna like it a lot. <laughs> and be jealous. And be jealous. <laughs> and be jealous. So it, it actually started like I think it started like two and a quarter, then it went to one and a half, and now we're now we're getting below one as Dick no. is shrinking as the show goes on. No, no, yeah, he's, at, true. he's at negative two right now. He's yeah, we discussed this earlier. Oh shit, so you're receding. Yeah, I told I told Live Fire he's got a good eight inches on me, and the sad thing is he's only six inches. <laughs> <laughs> and the caverns of his ass. Yes. Well, apparently we're gonna have a movie, you know, uh, Indiana Live Fire, and uh, and Stevens lost balls because they're receding into his body. We're gonna have to find those. Uh, not the balls. Dun, 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 oh, Shauna, dun, dun, dun. I didn't say we were doing it now. You, as I said, li you and Live Fire. No, oh, research well, this stuff. Well, we gotta wait. get the preparations ready for your return. The preparation and then, age. And then we can do the the show. I I want to do it so bad. I've always wanted to do. Abandoned stuff. I watch it all the time. I love it. It's just awesome. Yeah. Awesome. But I want to get some real haunted places, though. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely I mean, going to my ass. Over the next <laughs> over the next few months, we should see on YouTube what we find it, like around here that hasn't been documented. Because if we go to the same places other people have gone, no one's going to fucking watch it. They've already seen it. We have to find new places. But they haven't seen it with me. This is also true. You bring a, a different edge to it. If it wasn't a federal offense, I do know a 2,000 acre nature preserve that's got some pretty cool shit on it. It doesn't really <laughs> help that there's a, uh, I won't say what county, but a county sheriff's training station out there. <laughs> well, when I used to go into the Belchertown State Schools in Massachusetts, an abandoned mental facility, um, the police station's right fucking there. Like, you can see it. It's right there. I can throw a rock at it and be like, hey, fuckers, I'm breaking in! And I've done it so many times. There was a point they had motion sensors around the building. So when you came close to them, they'd go off and there'd be police everywhere. They've like since this. discontinued that I, practice. I, I, I would throw rocks and <laughs> set off the sensors. Uh, like the skeleton in Elvis's butt. <laughs> you have a skeleton in your butt there, buddy? <laughs> I mean, if we're calling my ass a closet, could be a walk-in. Oh, you asked about something I saw weird? Oh, oh. We were driving down the highway. Don't, don't tell them. Driving down the oh, highway. Wait. Never mind. I see the smoke coming up from the other side of the highway. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And there's this blue car. Dude, it, I'm telling you, his fucking wheel was like this, and he's still going down the fucking highway, smoke pouring off the back of it. And like, I, I just waiting to look in the back and hear, <laughs> Michael, Michael Bay style, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get some goat effects and videos for this. I miss it's, fuck a it's bitch. Time. Ah! I was playing with fuck a bitch before we... Uh, before I came here. Yeah, my dog is, uh, you know, it's that time. And she's got to get burgled so she can have puppies. So she's not in the house. I miss my bitch. I miss my bitch. Although, I do. Honey is such a great dog, though. Once she gets over, like, she's yeah. still, Our new dog is still getting used to it. Like, I can little see her bitch. behind my head there. Little bitch. Little bitch. Hi, little bitch. Hi. There she is. Hi. She's still getting used to the fact that she has free range of the house. Because she's learned to, to go pee and shit outside and not on my rugs. You notice since you put the uh, blanket down, she switched couches? Yes. I noticed that. I did. I did. 
So, what else is going on, guys? Angry Elvis, how was your day today? What, what, what's fucking new, other than uh, stupid people? That's pretty much my day. But no. Uh... <laughs> Live Fire's got the goats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give him an aux cable and plug him into the mixer. Um, but no, the, the let's let's move on to some more exciting stuff. Um, dude, I've been dying to see some completion of this film. I wish I hate you, fucking Pat Knox. I still can't tell you that. Yes, Taurus and Orlando suck too. I still can't say the title. I still can't give a synopsis. I'm only allowed to leak this little tiny scene, which is awesome, absolutely awesome, and it features Chris Bex and myself. Crispy made it to the movie. I, I don't like calling them Crispix. It's just weird. It, 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 I, every time I say it, I think about cereal. Yeah. Like, and I do like that cereal. Um, <laughs> but I get to show you at least something. Now, the scene you're about to see. In filming this, the director had left the room and just said, keep going. Go with it. Chris and I did well over an hour of random interrogation on both serious side, funny side, retarded side, stupid side, all of it. And uh, hopefully he makes a director's cut where the entire interrogation is in there because it, that'd be fucking hilarious. But it won't be in the, in the theatrical cut. But I'm going to play it now. So here we go. Pappy Knox, if you're here, congratulations. Here is your first movie leak. They bring in my soup. I really want ABC soup. I fucking hate you. I love you too. Seriously, if you get out of this line of work, I'll leave you my number. Like, this has been fun. I haven't had this much fun since I was single. Don't ever get married. Trust me. Believe me. If you ever breed, the world will be doomed. Could be more fun. You can't deny I got a likable charm. You know you wanna, you know, when it's all over, go have a beer with me. What I hear is a petty little man who has an ego the size of the country, who thinks that everything <laughs> is wrapped around you him. You said country. I got a word for you. G R U N. D-L-E Shut the fuck up! Eat my grandel, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Finally! I got to show something! It's about fucking time! So, Eli, you know Crispy personally, and so do you, Shauna, now. What do you think of the transformation in Chris being the nice guy he is to the guy you see on that film? How do you think he did? Someone tell me. I think he did a great fucking job. Spectacular. And when you see him, like, I, I can't say it. God damn it. He gets so dark. <laughs> he gets so fucking dark. It's, it's awesome. I love it. I, I cannot wait to see this movie. Out of all the video projects and all the things that I've done over the years, this by far was the most fun. And Live Fire, this past trip to Massachusetts, actually got to partake in making uh, that burp was not brought to you by Bud Light. Or Fosters. Or Fosters, but we'd like it to be. Everyone take a sip of your beers. Oh, yep. He does, he had to go to his brother to learn how to be an asshole. <laughs> it was funny. Him and Stefan spent a little bit of time together, like him trying to get Chris to be more aggressive and more mean. Um, but Live Fire, the, the day you were filming for the reshoot, what did you think of what you saw of this movie? Without giving away spoilers, what did you think of your experience with this? Well, you know, I, I really don't think that my opinion would be good enough, but we could ask Bob. He's right over there. 
Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, uh, I see. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Oh, is he with Hi, you, Bob. you? You, you. <laughs> you, you. Uh, no, uh, very, very interesting. I, I, I got to speak with the director and uh, Poppy Knox and asked him some questions about what was going on in the movie and, you know, what we were filming here and stuff. He gave me a lot of insight to the movie, even though I couldn't read the script. Not all uh, of it. Yeah, not all of it. Uh <laughs> But I, I have to say it was very interesting. It was a lot of fun actually filming. Nice. Yeah, the behind the scenes might be a little messed up, but you can chop that. Yeah, no, well, the behind the scenes is funny. Okay, so when I read one of Pat's scripts, when he's writing for me, okay, I'll read it. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And I'll go through, and Brian was here for a lot of this on the retakes. And Eli, he was holding back from laughing, but I, I can hear it in the headset. He starts to growl. And then there's a scene that's not in that little tiny piece. Um, physical harm comes to a certain individual. Um, well, you'll see that later on. Hopefully, it'll be in the uh, teaser trailer. But anyway, um, I'll read Pat's line. Let's say it's like, oh, the, the cat in the hat likes to jump over a fucking bridge. And I will read it, and, and I will... I'll be like, get that fucking cat in the hat and throw it over the bridge. <laughs> yeah. I, I, have to, I have to twist it. Um, I'm me. I'm crazy. I don't like by the book. I did one serious movie with Pat, which I'm actually really happy with, and I want to do some more serious side stuff it's a part of me i don't explore often but i have to change the line and <laughs> there was a line <laughs> someone goes off something and i'm looking and i say the line now pat's character is screaming and yelling at me i fucked everything up and i just i'll turn to him and i'll say something random random like about google or about people floating down a river and unicorns and rainbows and he'll pause for a second and he just dies laughing. Then we'll do it again. And now he's prepared for me to say something. Okay, I say something completely different than the first time. He dies laughing again. And Brian doesn't help behind the scenes on the camera. He's fucking laughing, shaking the shit out of everything. Uh, it was just, it was a lot of fun to do. And no, I was not playing a gay guy. But I can play a gay guy very well, Elon. Mm, oh, baby. Um... I, actually, I can't tell you because I can't tell you to the teasers out. I'm under contract not to say another fucking word. Um, but the whole experience, like this was by but far. I sign nothing as long as money touches my <laughs> Well, maybe if this if this works out good, maybe we will see a fucking paycheck. That's the sucky thing. And Life Fire and I are writing a movie right now. And I'm not expecting anything from it. Because your first few movies starting out on your own. You're in debt. There is no profit. It's kind of like college. Yeah. Well, even this podcast. This podcast doing this, I love doing it, but it put us in a hole because <laughs> we spend all this money on this, but we get nothing in return. But that's the way this business starts out. So if you do want to uh, contribute to helping Live Fire get a chair, you can go to patreon.com slash J-L-I-H. And for 30 cents a day... You can supply a live fire with a working chair that has all the wheels. <laughs> Consider it charity. <laughs> oh shit! But no, it, it was a keep lot it of rolling. fun. Yes. Keep, no. No. Don't. Don't you roll. <laughs> don't you roll. <laughs> that, nothing, that didn't go well. The last. <laughs> nothing will ever beat that. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Slow motion. No. It, it was. No special effects needed. <laughs> I. I know. In reality. It went so quick, but from our perspective, it literally was like life. I was like, eh, 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 oh, boom, on the floor. It was fucking that, awesome. That also could describe an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But no, um, Angry Elvis has uh, earned himself a spot in Paradigm Shift. He is not going to be saying a goddamn word in the first movie. This is a three-part movie series. Angry Elvis isn't saying a fucking word in the first movie. And I can't tell you why. Because Brian and I haven't finished writing it yet. We are done. We're done. We're in act two now. Yeah, but he's, he's not going to say anything for the first two movies. Oh, that yes, yeah, because the third movie. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so take... What you know about time travel. I know that part's on the website. And take a three-part movie and then just fuck up the order. 
Wait, it's kind of like Star Wars. Hey, let's start with the fourth movie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, so I can't wait to get started on that project. Um, but I have to wait for Pat Knox to get his ass to fucking Florida because he's directing the bitch. And we, we need do you need cameras. to do... Eli, actually, I had an idea for a scene in this movie. I was thinking about it the other day. And I might have a role for you. But I got to see how well you can act. How long you can take abuse from live fire. We need a gay Jew and he's going to be called a Hebrew. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> now would you like to be on the receiving end of that <laughs> um but we will we will talk offline about it um this the movie we're doing now is not going to be done for a while because we have to write three scripts because the whole thing has to be filmed at one time it just has to that's the way it's got to go so there's a lot of work ahead but um if you go to just let it happen productions.com there will be updates on that page with Paradigm Shift. There is a little button you push, and you can see the details. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, All right, where are we at right now? So we're at 24 minutes. We are. I'm just letting you guys know now. But, but how many seconds? That's important. With you, three. Wow, you're giving Damn, him credit. Damn, improving. <laughs> Good boy. Oh. oh wait! Oh wait! He took, oh, he, fuck. He, he he took his did. pants off that time. <laughs> he did, but he was already done before he got them off. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, we are gonna have a like yesterday. We're gonna have a slightly shorter show. Yeah. So, me actually, it depends on uh, if people want us to do more sing-alongs or not. Oh. But we are going to go here and push a button. Oh no! And now it's time for random facts. Completely random. Stupid and useless facts with all of us. <laughs> all right, let me. Uh... Oh shit, that's what I forgot to do. I knew. I said it. I said I was forgetting something. I forgot to pull up my random facts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a random fact for yeah. you. Alan is never prepared for anything. Banging your head against the wall burns 150 calories an hour. Does it really? What about a headboard? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. 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 That board was not brought to you by Bud Light, but we'd like Indeed. it to be. A jiffy is a unit of time for one one hundredth of a second. Wow. Which is still longer than I last. <laughs> 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 the average woman uses her height in lipstick every five years. Are you serious? I don't make this shit up. That's fucking redonkulous. A quarter of the bones in your body or in your feet. I think we could have yeah, on the yeah. last show. Yeah. There are 18.6 million vacant homes in America. There are oh, we already did we that did one that. too. Oh god damn it. We're all gonna right. need some new segments soon. Nearly eighty percent of all animals on earth have six legs. Six? Six. 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 I've never seen a six legged animal. I'm just <laughs> reading shit, dude. <laughs> If you put a can of Diet Coke in water, it floats. Regu regular Coca-Cola oh, sinks. <laughs> I'm trying not to take this on a racist note, but most collect calls are made on Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, son. So here's one. Bin Laden's death was announced on the 1st of, uh, 1st of May, 2011. Hitler's death was announced on the 1st of May, 1945. Really? Uh-huh. No shit. <laughs> That burp was not brought to you by Bud Light, or Fosters, Fosters, or vodka, but we'd like it to be. The Titanic was the first ship to use an SOS uh, signal. That went well for him. 78% of NFL players are bankrupt two years after finishing their careers. That is so true. Yeah. And 60% of NBA... Oh, sorry. 78% of NFL players are bankrupt two years after finishing their careers. 60% of NBA players are bankrupt within five years of leaving the league. I fucked it's all the cocaine and hookers. The yes. number one tire manufacturer in the world. What do you think it is? Your mom? I don't see how that's relevant. Michelin? I know it's not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually Lego. Is it really? Yeah. Nice. No shit. Yeah. A small child could swim through the veins of a blue whale. I believe that. Those like, fuckers are huge. Oh, it's kind of like your mom. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Male koalas have two penises. Female koalas have two, two vaginas. Oh. Oh. 
I don't know what Stephen so, would do with two vaginas. It kind vaginas. of reminds me of that commercial for Double Me Gum. You know, double your pleasure, <laughs> double your fun. Koala gum. So I guess <laughs> their porn is QP? Koala gum. Koala gum. Shit, what were you saying? Angry Elvis? Uh, I fucking lost a word to go. Oh, a Boeing 70... A Boeing 747's wingspan is longer than the Wright brothers' first flight. Damn. Uh, uh, Where'd it go? Fuck. Oh, no, wait. Also, according to Utah law, a husband is responsible for any criminal act that his wife commits while in his presence. Guilt by God damn it, Stephen, that burp was not brought to you by... Bud Light, what we'd like it to be. In the Caribbean, there are oysters that can climb trees. Really? I'd like to see that. Like I said, I don't make this shit up. (laughs) I'd like to see that. A flamingo can only eat when its head is upside down. Hmm. I did not know that. I think we covered that one before. Ooh! The Golden Arches of fast food chain McDonald's is more recognized worldwide than the religious cross of Christianity. Damn. Oh. Kleenex tissues were originally used as filters in gas masks. Really? Yeah, that's what it says. A snail can sleep for more than three years at a time. Sounds I'm like Steven. Jealous. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. On average, Americans eat 18 acres of pizza every single day. Yeah. I like pizza. I like pizza. I like pizza. Show me the dog. Ooh! This ties in the McDonald's one. 400 quarter pounder burgers can be made from one cow. Really? Unless it's your mom, then it's a million. <laughs> in South Korea, there's an emergency number 113 to re- uh, to report spies. There is no <laughs> word that rhymes with month. Cunt. Cunt. <laughs> that, that's not a real word. <laughs> you gotta go with what's in the dictionary for that one. I'll be yeah. on that. Brian's yeah. going to be adding it to the dic- dictionary tomorrow just, scru- just so he can go, Bitch, that's Wik- false! Wikipedia, Wikipedia does yeah. not count. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they, they might recognize it someday. <laughs> Moles can dig more than 300 feet in a single night. Damn. I know who I'm getting to fucking dig to the well water here so we can put in a pump. <laughs> mole, 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 mole. Mole. The ribbon worm will eat itself if it can't find food. Well, that seems like a very dumb plan. <laughs> you can't find food if you're eating yourself. <laughs> what do you got for us? Most toilets flush in the tone of E flat. I thought you were going to say in the tone of D ump. All right, guys. Cunt. Eh. A fraction of a cunt hair whose value is determined by the size of the hole and the field that it is applied. So that fact has been rendered. I got it. Hold on. Let's do that again. That fact has been rendered false. Oh. Cunt. The first <laughs> engines put into Fords, they were made by Dodge. Oh. Oh, I did not know that either. I think. Oh, we did that one. There is a town in Newfoundland called Dildo. Nice. Everyone in there can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. People who measure more intelligent also measure more zinc and copper in their hair. Well, I'm out. <laughs> fuck that shit, he's out. <laughs> Baby rabbits are called kittens. Huh. The, uh, a duel between three people is actually <laughs> called a truel. Really? <laughs> Three point nine percent of all women do not wear underwear. Ooh, that sounds well. It depends on the women we're talking about. <laughs> Roast beef. <laughs> uh, Mr. Potato Head was the first toy to be advertised on TV. Is he really? Mm-hmm. No shit. The word koala is Aboriginal for no drink. That's random. That is random. <laughs> random as fuck. I love it. Well, it's a random fact, so that's that's what it's all about. Oh, next page. What do we got? The Amer- oh, the American sports industry is worth four hundred and twenty two billion a year, and more than one percent of all Americans are employed by it. Hmm. Al Capone's business card said he was a used furniture dealer. <laughs> right. The, the, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the dark region on the north pole of Pluto's moon, Charon, 
is called Mordor. Nice. Is it real? We need to go there. We need to go to Mordor. We need to go there. I'm not walking now. We'll take a ship. Come to me. Wait, wait. I already did. Come. Come to me now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're waiting for you. That's better, bitch. <laughs> Porcupines can float in water. I knew that. Oh, no shit. Bull, bullfrogs don't sleep. Two days after they die, ants give off an odor which other ants pick up on. They come mm -hmm. pick up the ant and carry it to an ant graveyard. Where they eat it. The ant graveyard would be my yard because I'm going to poison every motherfucker that comes on it. That's right. We have a, the ants don't have a, no, we don't have an ant problem. The ants have a human problem. Damn straight. Since live fires eradicated most of the frogs. They keep coming back in number, dude. If you yelled for eight years, seven months, and six days, you will have produced enough sound energy to heat one cup of coffee. Huh. Well, I know how live fires are uh, making coffee in the zombie apocalypse. Zombie so like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the television, uh, the television was only invented, or the television was invented only two years after the invention of sliced bread. Hmm. Really? Really. I don't get what the obsession with sliced bread is. You get a knife and you cut the fucking thing. It's great. At, oh, I'm quoting George Carlin now. It's greater than sliced bread. Oh, really? What's so great about sliced bread? You got bread? You got a knife? Cut the fucking thing. <laughs> Farts measure. Oh, we already did that one. Shakespeare invented the word assassination. Wait, hold and on. Bump. Shakespeare. No, 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 what? Shakespeare invented the word assassination and bump. Assassination. Assassinate. 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 It has the word ass in it twice. <laughs> most, uh, most toilet paper sold for home in use home use in France is paint. That explains a lot. Ooh la la. Oh. Speaking of dreams, did you know that twelve percent of people's dream uh twelve percent of people dream in black and white? I sure as hell don't. Do you dream at all? I don't think you sleep life. Do you sleep? No, he does standing cat naps. <laughs> <laughs> a spider has transparent blood. Does it really? Wow. How would you know if you can't see it? Uh, uh, How the fuck would you know you have windows in your house, you fuck? <laughs> yeah, but if it's transparent, you, you, you can't, can't see. See, see the windows have you a... You can see through it. It doesn't mean that it's invisible. No, no, but see, we know the windows are there because well, there's a frame around it. <laughs> I'm just pulling your fucking strings, asshole. <laughs> Sonic, the I know. Sonic the Hedgehog's full name is actually O. Uh, hold on a second. Ogilvy, Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog. Really? Hey, that's what it says. Now this one, this one kind of makes me laugh. Birds cannot live in space because they can't swallow without gravity. Guess what? Newsflash: No one can live in fucking space because it's a <laughs> vacuum and it's cold. You will die. The sweat drops drawn in cartoon comic strips are called plutes. 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 That, plutes. Isn't that the sound that you make in the toilet every five minutes? That's bloop. <laughs> Not plutes. Close, close bloop. enough. Well, it depends. You, you, you do go through some weird moments. <laughs> I do. One time he was taking That's a shit, terrible. I thought he was fucking raping a girl in the bathroom. <laughs> the guy, ah! And then you just hear, Bleh! what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is the shit! <laughs> Life Fire went to drop the laundry off in my room, and I just finished <laughs> taking a shit. And I hear, oh my god! Oh my, you suck, Alan. I'm like, what? He's like, I smell that down the fucking hallway. <laughs> These Steven's two, worse. <laughs> These two, Angry Elvis and Acorn Chaz, man. When they blow up the bathroom, they blow up the bathroom, the hallway, the my bathroom, my bedroom. Chris can probably no smell kitchen. it in the garage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no pun intended. I'm not shitting you. I literally, at times here, from a very far distance, <laughs> of the fucking Febreze. I, 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 it comes I, I, closer and closer and closer, and I'm like, Jesus, did you start in fucking Georgia with that shit? Well, it's because I had to kill everything to smell from Georgia two years. Just to <laughs> <laughs> he Not, went through eight cans on the way back here. No, nothing escapes when I go to kill it. <laughs> 
Rubber Ducky by Ernie on Sesame Street won a Grammy nomination in 1970 Rubber and reached number 16 on the charts. Here's a little uh, <laughs> here's a little Disney fact for you. Pinocchio is Italian for pinehead. You fucking pinehead. <laughs> if only something on me would grow. Oh. Uh, in 1950 in 1995, the winner of the 1 million Monopoly game piece at McDonald's sent it to St. Jude's in an anonymous letter. What? Yep. That that apparently hmm. happened. Donald wow. or uh, Daffy Duck's middle name is Dumas. Dumas. Donald Dumas. 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 Uh, the Himal that the burp was not Himal brought to you by Bud Light, but we'd like it to be. The Himalayan honeybee, largest of the honeybees, makes its hallucinogenic honey that tribes collect. Hmm. Oh, really? Uh -huh. And you said that just so, so smoothly. Oh. In 2014, Sony made a cassette tape that can store 185 terabytes of data. Really? Yeah. Did I've actually seen that. It wasn't Sony that created it. No. They did you did, know? They just bought the rights. Did you know that Wikipedia banned the Church of Scientology from editing any articles? <laughs> Good. Uh, Fuck you, Tom Cruise. Here we go. Leonardo da Vinci could write with one hand while drawing with the other. Well, so what? I can jerk in and text at the same time. <laughs> while driving. Oh, shit. With a, with a half gallon of moo juice on the seat next side. Never knew missing children could be so sexy. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Smallpox does so not... That was your entire drive, <laughs> wasn't it? What, sir? Why Why do you have 18 cartons of milk? <laughs> <laughs> it can only go so many miles, you know? <laughs> this, this is interesting, and leave it to the human race to do this. Smallpox does not exist anywhere on Earth except in a fucking laboratory. Well, that's because we killed it. No, we made it. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> fucking morons. <laughs> Nachos were invented by a guy named Nacho. <laughs> no shit. The brain... The, this one's kind of cool. The brain can't create a new face. It only remembers faces yeah, you've true. seen somewhere before. This includes your dreams. <clears throat> yep. So you're telling me the the random like faces I see every day in dreams like, the, the, are the, are some of the four million people that you've seen in your life. Your brain never forgets. Bullshit. You, <laughs> I don't no. remember what I did last week. You yeah. you can't access the memory, but your brain never forgets. <sighs> well, why haven't Ooh. why haven't you invented a way to tap into our memory? I'm working on it. We'll have to include that in Paradigm Shift somewhere. I'm working on it. Ooh. Excellent. Pez candy actually comes in a coffee flavor. That's... It's kind of like no. Steven in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's coffee creamer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, what kind of cream will you get from a one-incher? Uh, skim it, milk. It, it. Foam. <laughs> Foam. <laughs> Fat-free. <laughs> No, there's skin plenty milk. of fat. Non, non, non dairy, <laughs> non dairy creamer. <laughs> it's just powder. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, okay, angry Elvis. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> One in four of every Americans has appeared some way or another on television. I can believe that. I have. <laughs> <laughs> He has. <laughs> he has. Oh. I kind of want to pull it up now, but I don't want to set up the scene for it. <laughs> uh, sunsets on Mars are blue. If you were green, you would die? Uh, no, maybe you just turn red. <laughs> okay, so I am done with my facts. What about you guys? You got uh -oh. any more closing facts? Uh, I think I'm good for this evening. When typing correctly... Using proper format on a keyboard. Stewardesses is the longest word that is typed with only the left hand. Oh. 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 So, guys, do you know what time it is? It's about that time. It's time for the daily drive. Oh, no, wait. We ended that show. Yeah, that's done. I'm going to push this button right here. Oh, there we are. Hi, guys. Oh, Hi. God. One thing I need to do right now, before I forget, because it drives me fucking crazy, 
is I need to it do. Drive me crazy. I need to do that. Look, we can read the fucking comments now. Isn't that amazing? Can you do that to my dick? That right, that we, technology has not been invented yet. Do we need a microscope to read the comments on that? A microscope? I was actually, thinking we, space telescope. I was say Hubble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just You're made confusing small with big. <laughs> it wouldn't register on the Hubble telescope. <laughs> <laughs> my dick doesn't even put off a heat signature. <laughs> What's that little speck? Oh, it's something dead. All right, so we are going to do some Uncle Cracker for you today for our sing-along. So we are going to start with... Follow me. Oh, oh yeah, baby. baby, follow me. Oh, I had change this effect. I forgot to do that. It was everybody's comments. Com Fuck off, Eli. I know. Not doing kick a Elu. 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 That's the new name. Elu. Eli, I promise you, we will do kick It's going to take us... A little bit. We will do Kickapoo for you. Kickajoo? Yeah, we will do Kickajoo for you <laughs> next week. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but anyway. Don't promises that I can't keep. <laughs> Follow us, like, and subscribe. <laughs> yes. If you do not, Steven, we'll fuck your eyes. <laughs> Don't worry. It won't hurt. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no. I a needle in the eye still hurts. Right, but it depends on the be, size you, of the needle. You have to be able to penetrate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could put some crazy glue on it. It should harden it up, right? <laughs> pull off your One cornea. drop would cover it up. <laughs> Dude, I've never seen anyone make fun of their dick so much as Steven. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, I, I used to love to say that I'm hung like a raging hamster two inches from the ground on my stomach. <laughs> That's still bigger than Steven. Oh, yeah. But anyway, here we go. Follow me by Uncle Cracker, Cracker, Ass Cracker. Oh. I still can't see any comments. Oh, that's some new one. You don't know how you met me, you don't know why You can't turn around and say goodbye All you know is when I'm with you, I make you free And swim through your veins like a fish in the sea I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright I'll be the one to tuck you in at night And if you want to leave I can guarantee you won't find nobody With Steve and Small TV me. I'm not worried about the ring you wear Cause as long as no one knows Then nobody can care You're feeling guilty And I'm well aware but you don't look ashamed and baby I'm not scared I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright I'll be the one to tuck you in at night And if you want to leave I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me <laughs> the Hubble Telescope can't pick up his small PP. He needs some cosmetic surgery. Won't give you money, I can't give you the sky. You're better off if you don't ask why. I'm not the reason that you go astray. We'll be alright if you don't ask me to stay. to tuck you in at night and if you want to leave I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me don't know how you met me you don't know why you can't turn around and say goodbye all you know is when I'm with you I make you free 
It swam through your veins like a fish in the sea. I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright. Four times three. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. Oh. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't see me find tiny PP. Follow me, everything is alright. Steve Hinton is the one that tucks you lying at night. night. If you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else as me. Follow me, everything is alright. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me oh this Hooray. one i will actually read subscribe <laughs> actually i again i like the the recommendation for this one that was that was good i've been dying to do that one so on the kick of uncle cracker now we're gonna do drift away actually let's do the other one in the middle just so we can do it a, a cracker sandwich Oh, with okay. A finger, with a finger uh -huh, 11 uh -huh. in the middle. <laughs> All right. Oh, sounds like sandwich. Steven's wet dream. <laughs> a paralyzer. Wet dream? It's just a drop. <laughs> no, it's dust. Poof. It's powdered milk. You realize that everybody else for the wet part. <laughs> uh, here we go. We're going to do paralyzer. Uh, I'm not going to do well on this one. I might not either, fuck it. It's fun anyway. You'll be paralyzed by the sight of Steven's PP. Because it'd be staring so long to try and figure out where the fuck it is. I hold on so nervously to me and my dream. I wish it was cool in me. But so far has not been good. It's been shitty. This club has got to be the most pretentious thing since I know you and me. But I am imagining a dark lit place, a place for my place where I'm not paralyzed. But I seem to be struck by you. I want to make you move because you're standing still. Desperately, he always but so far has not been fun. I should just stay home. If one thing really means one, this club will hopefully be closed in three weeks. That would be cool with me. But well, I'm still imagining a dark lit place. A place for my place where well, I'm not paranoid. You're standing still If your body matches what your eyes can do You'll probably move right through Me on my way to you This is a breakout Better than herpes breakout Giggity uh, uh. How do we sound guys? Let us know in the comments You guys are getting stale in there Just Participate, participate Participation, Like and subscribe Not but I seem to be struck by you I wanna make you move Because you're standing still If your body matches what your eyes can do I'll probably move right through Me on my way to you Oh, 
dancing shadow behind Steven. You probably move right through me on my way to you. Oh, actually, that, that went, went pretty way fucking good. better than I thought it would. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It took me a second to get my groove on, but, you know, <laughs> I broke a sweat. <laughs> yeah, right? Do it. That was <laughs> really good. <laughs> if we go That's do, my new karaoke. If we go do a, a live karaoke thing with all of us, That's gotta I, be we one have of them. to. And, Steven's and, a little pitchy. <laughs> oh. I am. That's why I bump his mic down, and then Don't. he just gets closer. <laughs> Don't. He has to fucking Don't jerk off the asleep. mixer when I'm singing. Uh, we should Not have a double cake. stacker sandwich. What? We should have a double stacker sandwich. Double stacker cracker sandwich. We should. Uh, oh yeah, we we, got, we, we, we should do. Uh, well, no, no, we should do uh, a bad lip reading. We can't. We need a fourth one. I haven't chosen the fourth. Who one needs beer? I do. Okay. I do. Get to the chopper. All right. Which lip reading do you want to do after this next song? Cerveza. Woo. Cerveza beer fairy. Yeah. Oh. Beer. You. Dos all right. Let me light. pull up the one we're gonna do after this Dos last Uncle light. Cracker. Das Bud Light. Which uh, one do you want to do? You want to do one, you? No, actually, I want to do It's Not the Future. We, okay. Didn't we do that? No, we started to and we said, fuck it, we were done. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? Bushes of Love would be pretty fucking <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah, let's, right let's, now. Let's just, all right, so we'll do right, we'll do right. Bushes of Love hey, Shana, and then Grazie, Uncle Grazie. Cracker. Shauna, should we do Bushes of Love or should we do It's Not the Future? 49 no, times. Rubber Ducky. We fought that we beast. That one too. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the last song of the evening should be Rubber Ducky. Rapper talking. You're the, the one. one. Okay. I'll tell you what. So because we mentioned it in random facts, at the very end of this show, we will do rubber ducky. We're gonna end on rubber ducky. Oh my God! Thank you, beer fairy. Take another, because this one's gonna go quick if you don't mind. Um, welcome back, live fire. Bonnie's joined us. What's going hey, on, Bonnie? How's that internet connection today? <laughs> Bushels of love. Bushels. Oh my God! They got a new one. What? <laughs> It's only in the bushels of love. <laughs> bushels, oh, it's it's deep down in the cockles of my heart. <laughs> All right, so or maybe the sub cockles. Are we saving <laughs> Uncle Cracker to the end to make this a massive sandwich? No, no, we'll yeah. do the no, we'll do the Uncle Cracker now, and then we'll just oh. finish. Yeah, live fire has spoken. Yeah, oh. yeah, he gets his privilege. All right, so that's there. So drift away by Uncle Cracker. Cracker, ass Cracker. I haven't sang this in a long Neither time. Neither have I. Me neither. Let's I give it a shot. I love this song though. Yeah, it's a great tune. Turn me up a little. Day after day, I'm more confused. Freaking autocorrect. Haha. <laughs> Yet I look for the light through the pouring rain. You know that's a game that I hate to lose. Oh. Feeling the same. Oh, ain't it a shame? Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Drift away. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh. Won't you take me to take me away? Wasting time. I don't understand the things I do. The world outside looks so unkind. And I'm counting on you. You can carry me through. Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Drift away. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Take his pee-pee away. Won't you take me away? Yeah. And when my mind is free, you know you're not. Feeling blue, the guitar's coming through to soothe me. Thanks for the joy that you're giving me. The joy that you're giving me. 
I want you to know that I believe in your song And rhythm and rhyme and harmony You help me along You're making me strong Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Boys and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Drift away Oh, oh, oh Give me the beat boys and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Boys and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Yeah, well, I want you to take me away Oh, won't you take me Oh, won't you take me Steven's gonna get lost looking for his dick. And he passed away. I had forgotten most of the lyrics to that song. Holy shit. How can you forget that shit? Yeah. Dude? That's fucking classic. I mean, the, the fucking chorus and all that, but. By the way, I had your mic on. You were joining us. <laughs> I looked at Brian and Surprise I went, Surprise <laughs> motherfucker Surprise motherfucker <laughs> Remember Surprise sex is great Unless you're in prison Oh Another fun fact Nine out of ten people Enjoy gang rape <laughs> Alright And I just miss Vape Master Jota right now <laughs> that one's for you, KBT. KB. All right, and our final sing along for this particular segment. <clears throat> no, I don't think it should be the final sing along. Well, I yeah, said for the segment. Uh, it doesn't mean we can't do more later. Oh. Mm. Bushes, I know you guys might be sick of this song, but you know what? We're fucking not, so get used to it. I Bushes of Love! Kobe Bay! Kobe Bay! Bald head! Balls. Oh. I don't even need the lyrics in this song. Yeah, no, not anymore. I still like to have a How did my father die? 49 times we, we fought that beast, your old, old man and me. We had a chicken head with duck feet and a crispy face, too. Oh, that's rad. He was waiting in the bushes for us. And he ripped off your dad's face. He was screaming something awful. There was this huge mess, I had to change the floors The floors? You see his blood had drained into the boards And I had to change them But we all got a chicken duck woman thing waiting for us Every day I worry all day I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us Something's waiting in the bushes of love Every day I worry all day, all day. I was waiting in the bushes of love. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Yo, never knew my daddy didn't care about me. Dead horizon is all my macro binoculars see. Moisture farming all my life and not a drop spilled. My aunt and uncle double sons, I'm sipping blue milk. My aunt and uncle double sons, I'm sick of blue milk. But then a desert hobo came and told me We all got a chicken duck woman thing waiting for us Every day I worry all day But I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us Yes, something's waiting in the bushes of love Every day I worry all day I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us Something's waiting in the bushes of love 
Hold me when I open like a flower Hold me right yeah, I ain't had to bake for a girl in a long time A long time I think my cooking's awesome I've got her picture in my photo wagon I, I keep it poppin' Yeah, she probably loves the honky tonk Probably loves the honky tonk That's what I say mm -hmm. I used to ride Across the desert, you know I used to glide On my speeder and pray that I don't find What I don't wanna find Waiting for me around the corner, oh no no I used to ride Across the desert, you know I used to glide on my speeder and pray that I don't find what I don't want Crispy bodies by the door Boom 49 times 49 times 49 times It was 49 times Now it might be waiting for you Could be hiding behind that scrap pile just a big cow Do oh, you really want someone to hold you? We all got a chicken dog woman thing waiting for us Yes, I agree Every day I worry all day I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us yeah, Something's waiting in the bushes of love Every day I worry all day I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us Yes, something's waiting in the bushes of love I used to ride every day I worry all day I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us Yes, something's waiting in the bushes of love I used to ride every day I worry all day I was waiting in the bushes of love Something's waiting in the bushes for us I had a dream. Oh. Oh. This cute I used girl kept kissing me over and over. And over. Oh, you know, there's something I gotta tell you about her. Just remind me later. Me around the corner, oh, no, no. I used to ride across the desert, you know. I used to glide on my speeder and pray that I don't find what I don't want to find. Speed and stay me around the corner, oh, no, no. <laughs> you should do it's not the future too. Uh, Ask the people. Ask the people. Ask Democratic Society vote more <laughs> sing alongs. Do you guys want more sing along? Uh, well, apparently it shows uh, for us. Yeah. It shows for us. Why in the coconut. please pray tell does that remind you of Murphy? Who what? Eli. How the fuck does that remind you of Murphy? Explain. Is it the sister kissing? <laughs> 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 you guys are totally fucked up and I love it. <laughs> We're waiting for a response. Our made up Jew friend. Coconut Shauna votes coconut song. Coconut song. Rockin', rockin' and rollin'. Down to the beach I was strollin'. But the seagulls poking my head. Not fun! I said seagulls. Mmm! <laughs> Stop it now! <laughs> All right, fuck it. That's actually what just popped up. Yes, it is. Literally, so, YouTube chose. How would you us. know? <laughs> <laughs> Poof. <laughs> There's no popping. It's it's. When it's, Steven opens his pants, you just hear. <laughs> the endless void. Because <laughs> he's always watching in the bushes. <laughs> Watching, he's always in the bushes watching the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have an ice cream truck now. No, no, he's talking about Murphy. Oh, we know you have an ice cream truck. We help buy it for you. Da, 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 and you promised me free ice cream if I came inside, you little fag. I never got my free ice cream, <laughs> but I got a cream buy. No, he had. <laughs> <laughs> he had powdered milk dude. for you. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> oh, look at the hands reaching behind my head. It was cut off. That was kind of Fish cool. bump. <laughs> All right, here we go. Seagulls, stop it now. Oh. Uh, here comes the copyright infringement warnings on YouTube. <laughs> We're not monetizing. <laughs> exactly. I hate Brenda, and a bad guy hit me in the shin, and I peed all in my pants. <laughs> 
listen to a little music, can't help. Rockin', rockin' and rollin'. Down to the beach I'm strollin'. But the seagulls poking my head, not fun. I said, Steven, hmm, stop it down. Said Stephen, has gotta come, pull out his little coconuts, and he did, and he did. And we're going like, nothing I could do but yell when these birds attack me. When I tried to run, I fell, and then these kids start laughing. And then, got hit in the neck with a hacky sack. Where'd it come from? Run, 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 jump. I can be a backpack while you run. Run, 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 jump. And stop. Put me down. I love to groove and boogie. Yay! Yeah. Show you some dance moves. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to. If I had your giant feet out there on the beach, I could have outrun those birds. You're a psycho wiener. Let me grab my beater. Listen, man, Who wants I'm more? not your friend. Mm. Don't, Don't fall, fall asleep. asleep. Don't fall asleep. Psycho Wiener. <laughs> Who wants more? What should we do now, guys? Should we move on to it's funky facts and weird news it's and jokes, or future. should we sing some more? It's funny. You guys watch us sing horribly. You mean they watch horribly? Everybody or we sing loves horribly? karaoke. I know. It's fun. <laughs> Let's if move these up to the appropriate like levels. And you know, the funny thing is, just at, I'll be out at a bar at a karaoke bar, and I know songs, and Steve's like, oh, dude, you got to go up and sing. And I'm like, ha, oh, ha, fucking hell ha, no. Ha, ha. Your brother. Right. What the fuck is Night Quill? Night Quill? Oh, night Quill? Well, that's because he drank Night Quill and he can't <laughs> fucking spell right now because he can't <laughs> see. Put the guns away. Uh, but I'll sing, on the, I'll, I'll, I'll sing on the internet in front of all of these people. Oh, all right. So we have one vote that someone's ears are bleeding here. Uh, what else? Do, what else do you guys want to say? Hello, Zane. Sing. We don't sing. We don't classify this as singing at all. Hey, wait, where's it? Where are the comments? I need to see comments in the comment section. Yeah, no. Hold on one second. Someone sent me a fucking message right here. Zane is my brother. 
Hey, 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 fucking personal shit. Tell the bitch to get on <laughs> YouTube. No, I was sending it. That's Pat's Pat's girl. She was telling me what Pat's doing. Well, he can comment, you know. Well, I don't huh. think you're holding up the show. Yeah. Let's go. Well, we we're on a comments. delay, too, and see that there's no new comments. What are you saying? We just got ears are bleeding. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Zane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been with me. Only if you were on the inside poking out with an inverted penis. Or actually, yeah, because that would be the reverse of what you have. <laughs> So we got one. So right now the vote is move on. Any other takers? I gotta wait like a few seconds because uh, the fucking delay. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, you too, big bombs. <laughs> we might revisit sing along, but we are gonna push another button, no. which I think. Hold up. And now it's time for funky facts and weird fucking news with Laugh Fire A Cortez and the Angry Elvis. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me switch off music mode here. Let me move this fucking window back here. Oh, Billy, and let's pull up the comment feed. We need to go back to this screen right here. Bam, son! Okay, well, that is not my news. So, found one carat diamond ring. Oh, August yeah. 17th. Uh, Mary Grams of Alberta, Canada, oh, lost nice. her engagement ring while working on the family farm. This week, her daughter-in-law found her the heirloom Bizarrely ador uh, adorning a vegetable. The carrot grew through the fucking ring. Nice. That's really weird and really fucking cool at the same time. What do you got for us, uh, Lafar? A Massachusetts man arrested for trying to punch a police horse in the face. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Leave Boston. it to Massachusetts. He was just horsing around. <laughs> a Massachusetts man was arrested for trying to punch a police horse in the face. At a street festival, a, a festival, according to Worcester police. <laughs> Why would you hear me? Are you fucking Conan? Are you, <laughs> you fucking punch camels and knock them out? No, dude, you're Fuck a bitch. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you get him down, man. You get him, yeah. <laughs> Andre Pavel proposes to his girlfriend with an engagement ring and flowers. He punches her out when she says no. This was in England. Not Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking wanker. Here's your wedding punch! <laughs> Fat cats get rich off inheritance. August 24, 2017, a woman in New York died and left $300,000 to her two cats, according to the New York Post. She wanted to ensure they were cared for. What do I smell that smells like Jaeger? My ass. <laughs> Um, I fart Jaeger bombs. <laughs> <laughs> so, good for you, cats. I don't know how cats are going to spend $300,000, but hey. A whole lot of nip. <laughs> a whole lot of nip. <laughs> yo, yo, man, I got the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Joy yeah. Cagle sets fire to clothes in the women's clothing section at Walmart in Memphis, Tennessee. That she says she was. Me. She says she was just trying to stay busy. Oh, <laughs> uh, shoot. Wisconsin man accidentally fires nail gun into his heart, but he is fine. August 16, 2017, Doug Bergson was framing a fireplace when he dropped the nail gun. It shot a three and a half inch nail through his chest and into his heart. It kind of stung, <laughs> says Bergson. This who man drove, has balls. He drove himself to the fucking ER with a nail in his goddamn chest. Good for you, dude. Fucking because hair. the fucking an I went okay. I had a diabetic incident in my doctor's office. Now, mind you, the doctor's office is literally one minute away from the fucking office. One. They minute. called me an ambulance. They would not let my wife at the time drive me there. Fuck that. It cost me seventeen thousand fucking dollars to drive a half a mile. I'm not paying that shit. Yeah, well, he cost the Sandman $471 for a Band-Aid and a ride to the hospital. Really? 
Yeah. A yeah. fucking band aid. Two fucking stitches. Yeah, two, really? two stitches and a band aid, four hundred seventy one dollars. Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. For fighting off a home invader. Yep. The seven million dollar Powerball was sold an arrow distance from Zane's house. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. My brother lives that's right where, up that's the That's where street. you got your fucking yeah. coffee in the morning. Yeah. When I lived there in Chicopee, mm. I would go there every, every morning for my fucking coffee, and I would get fucking Powerball tickets. I, that's where I used to buy it when I was a uh, Radio Shack manager right up the street. I'd go down there because they had everything. You know, you go in, you get a fucking grinder, you grab your coffee, lunch, boom, Powerball tickets, scratch tickets, done, smokes, out the door. Yep. You know, Hey, fucking, now I don't work at Radio Shack anymore, and some fucking stupid cunt. I'm sorry. You well, actually, are a cunt. You, you, you are, are a cunt. cunt. Yeah, but we anyway. don't like you because you are a cunt. cunt. <laughs> but yeah, now that I'm not there anymore, I moved down to fucking Florida, some bitch and chickabee wins. What the fuck? Well, seven people in Florida won the million dollar prize. I haven't checked your two, ticket yet. I, I think I have two, maybe three numbers, so I may have like 10 or 15 bucks or whatever, yeah. Hey, there's more chances. For, right. uh, Powerball. Hey, hey, all we gotta do is cash it in. We'll get it for the next round. Exactly. Right. Maybe we'll win like two million dollars. What? <laughs> what? I want to find this fucking thrift store. Yeah. Students find spacesuits in thrift store. Oh. Lord. August sixteenth, two thousand seventeen. Two college students in Florida, Florida too, found several spacesuits in a thrift store and bought them all for less than two fucking dollars. The American Space Museum says they're authentic and worth thousands. I just want to know oh. how the fuck they ended up there. Maybe one of the astronauts in the program fucking died. It was at, at this moment somebody knew they, they fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one. Surprisingly not Florida. It's California. <clears throat> Dumbasses put sunscreen in and on their eyes in order to view the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shitting you, like, that sunscreen costs more than two pair of solar eclipse glasses if you I, fucking bought them in time. Okay, all right, first first and foremost, people out there now, if you're going to look at the sun, don't. Uh, this coming from I, the guy who had five pairs of sunglasses and was wearing, staring at the sun. I was wearing five <laughs> pairs of polarized lensing. Spaced out and actually adjusted accordingly to refract the light. Uh, I am somewhat of a smart guy. Yeah, my eyes are still fine. I can see perfectly. Uh, don't fucking do it. Especially with some sunscreen. Get like six pairs of sunglasses, put them one over the other, and smart adjust them according. What? What? You're smart as a left handed screwdriver. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, random fact Bonnie, HughesNet. Or dish internet sucks. So is Big Balls. You should get cable. Cable is so much better. Big Balls. Cable, cable, cable. Harvey the Hurricane Hawk oh, hunkers I down love... with Cabby during the storm. The bird's the word. There is this B hawk who bird, looks bird. fucking the word. terrified sitting in the front seat of this cab. That's... Oh yeah. Well, it, it's no different. We actually. Uh, the fuck you mean? It's gonna be out. thirty dollars to sit here with you. <laughs> 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 fucking Uber prices are getting out of. <laughs> I'm a bird. No, no, I'll fucking peck your eyes out. I ain't paying shit. Do you take feathers for payment? <laughs> I'll fuck your eyeball. Oh wait, no, that's Steven. How about some shit? <laughs> All what right. So here's one. Police believe thieves steal Venezuela zoo animals to eat them. Uh, Mar. Maracabio, Venezuela. <clears throat> Venezuela authorities are investigating a theft of animals from a zoo in western or in western state of Zulia that were likely snatched to be eaten. Further signs of hunger in a country struggling with chronic food shortages. Oh, shit. Here's another. Uh, here's a funky fact for everyone. Brian, or AKA Livefire, owned more sunglasses than Ray Ban. And I yes. agree with this because every time I see him, he has a different pair of sunglasses on, including mine. I'll look for my glasses and they're on Brian's head while there, he's wearing another pair of sunglasses there, there, and there's a pair in his pocket. There, there was actually... I've seen him with 4,000 pairs of sunglasses in his room. It was... <laughs> counted four no, no. You're exaggerating, Chris. There's only 3,200. <laughs> After you... Oh... <laughs> 
the original count was 4,021. Some people like clothes. <laughs> some people like shoes. Some people like stuff. I, I love my shades. Brian has a nice pair of women's shades, too. He has them in the car just in case he forgets his shades. He puts on these big fucking oh, hey, brown um, glasses. Hey, Ossifer. Hi. Hi. Do, do my, bo does, does do my boobs help? look nice? <laughs> Let me push uh, these together for you a little <laughs> On the note of storms, a resourceful dog walks away with a bag of dog food after Hurricane Harvey hits Texas. Fucking there is a picture dog. of this fucking dog. He's got a full, looks like a 30 or 50 pound bag of dog food in his mouth walking down the street. Yeah, I've done my shopping. <laughs> I'm just impressed by this headline. It doesn't say what... Uh what the story is or what's going on or when it was or where it was but one armed man applauds the kindness of strangers <laughs> <laughs> bravo bravo oh or god is, or in Steven's case no in Steven's case it's wait <laughs> I'm just reading stupid headlines now that have been through the times there's a team there called the Lady Jacks, apparently. Oh. Lady Jacks off to hot start in conference. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Oddly enough. Homicide victims rarely talk to police. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> German magazine cover depicts <clears throat> Trump doing the Nazi salute. Brian, you got to move your camera. I, I, mine doesn't reach. Huh? Show the the cover of Trump. This this is kind of kind of funny. This is fucked up. People need to stop. Yeah, that's a German magazine cover. Hey, can you see this part? The the way I look at it is if he doesn't fucking put out there, hey, I hate the KKK on Twitter every fucking day, then suddenly he's a KKK supporter. Yeah. yeah. Did Obama oh. Say it, it, he yeah, nobody, nobody complained when Obama was going like this. Yeah. Oh, do do we have white people out in the street or all these fucking things going when Obama got elected? Mm, no. No, us smart people, people continued to do our job and live our lives. Listen, people just don't like Donald Trump. And I love that because realistically, his numbers speak for themselves. I mean, he's done so much for this economy already. It's not even his first I've, fucking year. He's done more in the first half of his year. He's done then, more in the first day yeah. than the past seven presidents have done. Even yeah. before he was in, he saved, he he basically kept a ton of fucking jobs with Carrier in the U.S. No, this I is mean, funny. Literally, he was the first president in the seven presidents to go to work the first day. Yeah. Before, when Trump was president-elect, this is, I think, about four days after the election, he sat <laughs> down with... Zane! What? <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of the German elevator company called Schindler's <laughs> Lift? <laughs> Go Zane! What? Thank you, good sir. I love it. What uh, does it does it take you to the oven? <laughs> Pop into my oven. No, that's downstairs. <laughs> but um, he sat down with Samsung and brokered a deal for Samsung to move to the U.S. Yeah. before he was in office. That's that's. Huge. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs between the four plants they're gonna That's have a by tremendous 2018. Boom, boom, boom. Huge, tremendous. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. boom. He gets bitched about because he's giving them tax breaks for coming over here. Aww. That's more jobs for the American people. And and here's another thing, people. And I still see this going on. Immigrants are great, and they're great for this country when if they're they fucking here, here legally. You legally, dumb exactly. asses. Like. George Takei, or Takai, whatever, he, however he says his last name. I love, I love his his work. Love him on Star Trek. All the shit he does is wonderful. He posted on his Instagram today. Uh, it was a California protest for immigration. Like immigrants are good for America. George, yeah. I one hundred percent agree with you. One hundred percent. Illegal immigrants are very bad for this fucking country. Henceforth, the word. Illegal. No taxes, well, no nothing, I mean, and we give them fucking houses everything. and cars and phones and while our own veterans are, are on suffering. the fucking street. Kind, Children kind of, kind of like uh, I mean, <clears throat> oh, fuck, I lost it. Well, hey, uh, no, yeah, um, I, I think we I can see why you no, lost basically, it. we strayed from the course. 
No, it's still news, though. I mean, that was a news but, story for but today. But no, it was, he came under fire recently for basically stating that he wanted... Uh, so did you. <laughs> <laughs> live fire. But anyways, he um, basically came under fire for saying that he would like it if... For immigrants, that it was not about race, about sex, about identity, anything like that, but the skill sets that could be brought to this country. Yes, I'm he, all for that. And that There's was the right way to was, do it. That was considered you know, racist no, somehow. No, you, you know what? It doesn't matter what skill set you bring. It matters whether or not you come here legally yeah. or well, illegally. Well, That's we're what talking makes about the, the legal true. process. The, the skill set of these people are wonderful. They are 100% oh, yeah. true. When they come here the right fucking right. way. And I'm, I'm not going to insult anybody, but I mean, yeah, if you have great worth ethic, Do it. work ethic and all that shit. Steven, hold on. But you're so fucking Let, lazy that you don't go through the whole process. You, you're going to restate what you said because I'm going to read the disclaimer one more time. If you are offended by anything at all, don't listen to this show. Why? Because we just don't give a fuck. So now, go ahead and offend the stupid people and say it the way you wanted to say it originally. But no, I don't give a shit if you're Mexican, fucking Nigerian, whatever, fucking Arab. I don't give a shit. A flying fuck. Who you are, if you want to be a contributing member to this society, and you want to work hard as fuck, which I know a ton of people out there that want to come to this country. They come here with aspiring dreams and they want to fucking work. But if you don't do it illegally, get or you don't do it legally. 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 If you don't do it legally, get the fuck out. I don't give a shit if you're the fucking shining astrophysicist that's going to cure cancer somehow even though that's not your fucking field. I don't give a fuck. It if hurts you're us. not if you're not legally in this country, you you, then, you don't do any good for the country. No. And this is this is what irritates me because a lot of these protests I've been watching, I agree with their statements. Immigration is good. Having extra people. Yeah, I don't hear it either, Zane. Right. I just checked all the inputs to try refreshing the feed. Um, but all I see all this true stuff, and it is one hundred percent true. All of us sitting here, our fucking our fucking families came here from someone else somewhere else at one point in time. Yeah. But here's the difference. Well there's I'm a way to do it the right way, where you're actually a contributing member to society. If you're here illegally, you're working under the table, taking away American jobs, which means you're taking away from the economy. Money goes down, things get more expensive, so forth and so on. There's a right way to do it. Apparently Bonnie can't hear shit. Bonnie has satellite internet. Oh, yeah. And she buffers all the time. And I thought that only happened in porn. <laughs> <laughs> but no, people, and this is this is still, still about news, and it's common sense. I'm not racist. I might tell racist jokes. I hate everyone equally. I also love yeah, everyone equally. Absolutely. I have family members that aren't white. Of all different races. You know what? They're still people. They still work. They contribute to society. They're a function. They're a functioning member of this country. And it helps us. Oh. Oh. Get here the right way. And Trump has said it from day one. He is all for people coming here. If you want to do it, there's a right way to do it. And he is trying to change the system. Do it right, get it white. To make it a little bit easier because there is a lot of outdated policies. I got that too. There's a lot of outdated policies and we do need to do a revamp. But do it the right way. And yep. then all your signs and all your <laughs> skill set shit, that's all true because you did it the right fucking way. It's yep. common sense. The right way right now, in all seriousness. People are going to hate me for this. We need the INS to go around and get rid of every illegal immigrant. In other words, we need the INS to actually do their job. Yes. Please. Their hands are tied. Their hands are tied. By all it's, the illegals? It, no. Uh, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> no, but no, no, it's not sanctuary cities. That, yes, that, no, Chris, no, it's not. The sanctuary their hands, cities Their hands are tied either. by the liberals. Yes. All right? They... They can't get rid of people because, oh my God, we'll be offending their rights. They have no fucking rights exactly. in this country. You want rights? Go to your own fucking country. 
get a green card, come back here, and you know what? I'll hire you to mow my fucking lawn and do my bushes. This I is no of love. That. That's the other thing I, I hate, too, and I saw it started again. This whole flag burning thing and wiping your ass with the flag and stomping on the flag. And this is coming Traitors. from actual citizens. And I think this policy policy should be put in play. If you want to deface our flag and you want to shit on this country, you should either A, be deported, which I think is too late, or you should just be fucking shot by our military members. Try doing I know that I in any other fucking country. Like, let's yeah. say the Middle East. Do that. Try doing it there. I mean, no, I know they're... No. North Korea. Do it in North Korea. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. I was going to say, go do it at Ross's house. Yeah. He, he's going to yep. have lots of ornaments hanging from his tree. Do it here. Yeah, exactly. Do it here. I, I have a battle axe. Come on and do it. I don't agree, and, and people, here, here's part of that, that whole thing. I don't agree with everything our president has done. I don't agree with a lot of what most presidents have done. We I don't never agree, will agree with everything. Yeah, That's I don't the bottom agree line, though. with a lot of the policies, but you know what? There's no one, no other place I'd rather be. I, ha I can do so much here. You just got to deal with it. There's going to be things you hate. There's going to be things you love. Fucking get over it. And don't, Go to work. Don't listen to the majority. Yeah. Follow your heart. Uh, yeah. People told Aww. me I couldn't. It's like this. And in America, I can do this. There's a few other places too, but people told me I could never do any of the shit we're doing right now. What am I doing? Jeez, here we are. Yeah. Mm. Look at me. Look mm. at me, bitches. He's not even wearing pants. Yeah. Oh. At least wear underwear on the next show. April Please. Says. Please. <sighs> I'll really? think about it's it. It's a big distraction. Oh, but, but no, back back to the note of everything. I mean, if you want to be here, be here. Be American. Because yes. that's a country you came to. We're the land of opportunity. You know what? You come here the right way. You put in the work and you get rewarded. You Sometimes. might have to work hard for a but no, you might have yeah. to work hard for a long time before you catch a break, but you know what? We have more fucking opportunities here with working hard than any fucking where else. And that's the problem we have nowadays. People expect free shit. Like, look at the latest, uh, Entitled. I believe it was uh, Black Lives Matter, Louisiana or Louisville or something like that. They put out a list of basically all these fucking demands, demands that, oh, well... If you're inheriting a property that you intend to sell, give it to a uh, dark-skinned family, this and that. No, I'm sorry. This isn't the land of fucking entitlement. This isn't the land of free shit. It may have become that way because we've strayed off the goddamn path. But no, we... This country is developed on hard fucking work. This country was... The country that it has been in the past, and it's straying off that path. It's been that way because people put in hard work and actually really fucking worked their asses Pe off. People in this country, when it was first originated, it started off as a 2% tax on tea. 2%. 2% Now they take 27% of your paycheck. On tea. And we fought an empire. Not a country. The British Empire. We fought an empire for our freedom. And look what and, you're all doing to it. And everyone in this country, blacks, whites, Chinese, Hispanic, everyone that was here at the time fought the British. And the people it, that are in charge now are no better than the British. And I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about all the politicians in Congress and Senate. The people that are supposed to be looking out for you. People These have been people there too long. are not looking out for you. They're looking out for their wallets. While... While prices go up and your minimum wage doesn't go up, they're getting 3% raises every year. And they vote that in at 2.30 in the morning when nobody's listening. Yeah. yeah. Because you can't do anything about it. All I need to say is that they are not here to run you. They're here to serve you. That is what you elected them for. Prime example. Plain and simple. You guys hate health care? Why don't we all get together and put it for a vote that all the congressmen and house people and the government employees go on, on fucking, fucking Obamacare. Obamacare. You're going to see yeah. our entire health care change quick within 48 hours. Quick. Absolutely. 48 hours. Yes. And you know what? If these people aren't serving our interests, fucking get rid of them. Yep. Fucking get rid of them. And I don't give a shit. You know, send dudes Adjust. with black suits to Adjust. my house Adjust. and shoot me. 
I don't care. Fucking get rid of them. Yes, I gotta fix that mic because it's. So, people don't listen to what's on the media. Look what's going on around you. They actually do your fucking research on this shit. Yeah, find your own fucking facts. I mean, I'm just speaking locally to Florida, real quick. I'll, I'll be real quick. But no, let's take as a look usual. At, let's let's take a moment and look at what they tried to do with the fucking solar shit. They'll word shit in a certain way that it sounds so fucking appealing, but in reality, they're spreading your ass cheeks wide, no loop, fucking fucking you, because you know it sounded nice. Oh, but no, it's what's gonna lube up their wallets. It's what's gonna make them the most fucking money. Yep. It's yep. it's become a money game, not a this is our people, these are our people. We need to take care of them. That's why we're here. It's what's gonna make us most rich and sorry for going on so long. No, it's alright. I think we should have a section at least once a month Politics. political rants. I and Live Fire and I said this yes, yes, we're gonna give one second. Live Fire and I said this from day one, the show's not gonna get political, but you know what? I think once a month we should have a political rant. And on that note, he is now dubbed the Beer Fairy. We're going to tilt the camera over here, and we are going to enable the microphone. You For are me. on. I, I just have one small comment. The Constitution states life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Amen. It doesn't guarantee wealth. It doesn't guarantee health care. It doesn't guarantee shelter. It guarantees the pursuit of health, the pursuit of happiness, meaning you work your ass off to get what you want you have all the opportunities in america to do what you want as long as you follow the laws of america i don't disparage anyone who comes to america legally i have no qualms about saying anyone who's come here illegally should be removed because there is no such thing as, uh, how do I say it? Say it raw. There is no sanctuary. Say it. Yeah, there is no sanctuary. <clears throat> there are rules in place to ensure your entrance into the U.S. The well, right way. Tens of thousands. My grandparents have taken that path to come here. And worked in the worst ghettos of Holyoke, Massachusetts, in the dirt factories there, in the Uniroyal factories, the paper mills, in the paper mills, to come up and become American citizens. There is no reason we should accept illegal immigrants. Correct. None whatsoever. I agree. Get Especially since 47% of U.S. citizens are unemployed at this point. Yep. And when you think 52% of U.S. citizens are on some kind of subsidy, we have more people on subsidies, welfare, Social Security, SSI, SSD, than working. Yeah. And I'm not even going to place that blame on illegal immigrants 100%. It's... The country. About, yeah, I'm blaming it's about it on lazy people. 66% of illegal immigrants. But no, I'm not going to place it completely on that. It's more the fact that we are allowing the enablement of people to take advantage of the illegal immigrants. Like that. I mean, and not so much take advantage of them and their hard work. They may work like workhorses and all that. Like, Listen, oh, what's up? All right. All right. Hang on, guys. Part of the problem seriously in this country is liberalism i was getting okay. to that yeah uh I think it's, at it's, this point you guys need to sing the rubber ducky song to just <laughs> get off this shit oh uh, we will we we actually i think we should add that in before we move into jokes we will add that yeah in. just to break the tension in the room yeah. well that's not even really tension it's too. not it's, tension we're it's, just it's, really passionate about this yeah. topic so am i and i'm getting tense because i'm so passionate <laughs> rubber but, ducky but people <laughs> i want but, a rubber ducky in my closing statement for this little news segment you are the motherfucking government there is no one in this government that is above its people and you all have forgotten that 
Read the Constitution. Read what you can and cannot do. Serve your people. Yes. And the we won't have problems. If we band together and fucking change the system that doesn't work, it's going to get done. The people if the majority not, of the people want it. The people, I'm, the people should not fear the government. Correct. The government I'm, should fear the people. I'm going to say this. Like I was saying, it's not entirely <laughs> the illegal immigrant type shit. I can't see it. Be right back. Got to buy some stuff on eBay from China. Love Zane. China. <laughs> but no, it's China. not so much. China. It's not even 100% the illegal immigrant's fault. It's our fault for allowing it. And one of the reasons that it's fucking allowed right now is because people don't know how the fuck to work hard to get ahead. They have that sense of entitlement like... Oh, well, I'm not going to pick gonna tobacco get for $8 an hour because yeah. I, I, I was a manager. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but it's a sense of anymore. pride and entitlement that, that has ruined this fucking, I'm not even going to say generation, this country at this point. Because people, it, it comes, right back, comes right back to all the handouts and this and that. Oh, well, why am I going, why am I going to work hard when, you know what, if I make less than this a year i can get the food stamps i can get this and people aspire to work as little as possible so they can get by on the same amount of fucking income they do they believe supplemented by supplemented by the government i'm sorry uh, um, well just to just to correct you steven um when it comes to the fact of food stamps <clears throat> uh the food stamps are not actually not provided by the government anymore that uh, no, they ever, never have been. A lot of people confuse the fact that food stamps and SNAP are actually provided by the government. They aren't. They are actually provided by the farmers, something or another. Like there's 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 a, a place out there. I mean that they yeah. they provide food stamps and SNAP for uh, women who are having children and everything yeah. like that. Uh, it's a donation so that they can write it off in taxes. I mean, uh, I, I so, appreciate the... But, yeah, but the yeah. welfare cash grants come from the government. Yeah, because that yeah. and I, I appreciate the correction on that because I actually didn't know that. Um, but here's the thing. A lot of people aspire to take advantage of those programs. Department of Agriculture. But a lot of people aspire to take advantage of those programs and work those systems. It's and, become and, very and, fucking common. And the unfortunate part about people taking advantage of that system is that where I'm from in Massachusetts, and Sand Massachusetts. Sandman can agree to this, and so can, yeah, Aman I'm an asshole. So can Amanda Holland and a bunch of other people that I know. Um, if you are Hispanic or of darker Variety. ethnicity... <laughs> uh, Non-Anglo. Yes, non-Anglo-Saxon. You walk into the welfare office and you apply for food stamps. You're pretty much accepted immediately. And it's only because they have been doing it for generations. And, you know, I walked in. I had a broken foot. Was out of work for four months. Could barely make it up the stairs to go to the office. And all I wanted was some food stamps so that I could pay my brother some... I'm not against food stamps at all. Uh, all, I want, don't, all I wanted was food stamps. Don't take it that way. No, no, no. All I wanted was food stamps. I didn't want Medicaid. Well, uh, actually, I'm sorry. I did. I did want Medicaid. You were in need of it. But due only, to your situation. only to pay my hospital bill. Yeah. I didn't want to get Medicaid forever. I didn't want food stamps forever. But I had no place to live. I had a broken foot. No job. No car. Nothing. So I went down there. So they were, oh, well, you have to go to your doctors in West Springfield or whatever. It's like, listen, I have no money. I have nothing. I just crutched four miles. Crutched four miles. Like, literally crutched. Like, no car, no nothing. I'm sore. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. My armpits hurt. My foot is throbbing. Can we fax this over to my doctors? No, because they have to have a physical signature on the document. Yep. And it's like, really? Yeah, well, you're going to have to find a way to get over to West Springfield. By the way, which would have been about a nine-mile crutch. So now oh. we're up to 13-mile crutching. Crutching, literally. Because I can't put any weight on my foot because I have two broken bones in my foot. So I'm like, okay. 
whatever. I walk out. I get no food stamps, so no way to eat. I get no Medicaid to cover my foot that's broken. After 23 years of putting into the system. You got shit. I got yeah. nothing. I see people on the elevator. Now, mind you, I actually speak Spanish. I'm not. Okay. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent fluent. No, but you but understand. I it. understand a lot more than I speak. And and I put stuff together in my head as you're talking. So I look like a gringo. <laughs> Como esta? Oh, bien, y tú? No, I actually speak a lot of Spanish. And I'm, wa I'm watching people get off the elevator wearing Nike Jordans. Of course. Talking about getting $600 in food stamps to their boyfriend who's a drug dealer that's selling weed that stinks. That has no traceable income, so he's below and, that threshold as well. And getting into a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> yep. I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually not even going to get started on that. I need a piss break. And Oh, yeah, no, go on yeah. Zane's point, too, right there. Um statistics show more whites on the system than various races it's, and yeah. the reason why it's the white women that learned how to cheat the system no it isn't no a lot of them are like it's it's the majority <clears throat> of people who have I'm learned gonna, to take advantage yeah. of the system that are on the fucking system and on that note i'm gonna no, i'm, I'm yeah, gonna go, go take a piss go and, for it. No, i'm gonna tell you now it isn't actually go go take a piss yeah, yeah go, go, go. Angry i actually want to hear what you got to say real quick so now a lot of statistics are based on facts. Facts are alternative facts. How do I put this? Okay, so for instance... Think about 39% of whites in America. How many actual whites are in America compared to Hispanic? Oh, true. Well, okay. Yeah. So we're outnumbered now. So just for instance. Not yet. The word well, minority is no yeah. longer. Just, just for instance, in Holyoke, if you look at the sex offender rate uh, registry, according to the, the sex offender registry in Holyoke, 97% of people who are sex offenders in Holyoke are white. Really? I think actually countrywide, more uh, whites are sex offenders than no, other races. No, 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 no. But if you actually go on to the sex offender list in Holyoke, yeah. you look at Hector Rodriguez Ramirez Monique, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Caucasian. Are you Caucasian? Because, because of liberal agenda, they couldn't put them down as Hispanic or Puerto Rican or Latino or whatever. You look at if you actually go on to the Holyoke sex offender list and you look at the percentages of white I people agree, who are sex offenders and then you look at all of the white sex offenders. They're not white. They're not white. 97% so, of the 97% are Hispanic, black, or other. That would go with my statement then because st yeah. st statistically speaking, they're more white yeah. sex offenders than anyone else. Right, but but it's not. It's, yeah. just, it's just because of the way they had to label them because well, they didn't want to get sued. When I did go on food stamps for the short time when I was going through the whole court thing, Killer Bathtub told me to try it because technically speaking, it's illegal to... Just, to uh, actually, I don't even have to disclose my race. I tried it two years prior and I got denied. Now, I'm in the same position. I just have court expenses now and I'm, I'm working less, I'm fighting for my daughter. I put myself down as Hispanic. I had food stamps, $350 a month within a day. Yep. One fucking day. <laughs> yeah, if you piss on the street, you can be listed on that list. I agree. So, while we transition over, we are going to move out of our political rant. I am going to play Robert Ducky. Robert Ducky. Here I am in my tubby again, and my tubby's all filled with water and nice fluffy suds. And I've got my soap and washcloth to wash myself, and I've got my nifty scrub brush to help me scrub my back, and I've got a big fluffy towel to dry myself when I'm done. But there's one other thing that makes tubby time the very best time of the whole day. And do you know what that is? 
Steven. A very special friend of mine. Oh, my very favorite my little baby. pal. Heard this in forever. Oh, me neither. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make, make bad times so fun. So fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Uh -huh. Bo -bo -bo rubber ducky, joy of joy. When I squeeze you, you make noise. Rubber ducky, you're my very best friend, it's true. Uh -huh. Oh, every day when I Make my way to the clubby. I find a little fella who's cute and yellow and chubby. Rubber duck dubby, rubber ducky, you're so fine. And I'm lucky that you're mine. Oh, we cut it off. Oh. Alright, on that note, I'm going to push the final button of the show. Final button. And now it's time for jokes. Racist jokes, offensive jokes, jokes no one should ever ever tell because they're so bad with all of us. <laughs> Alrighty, I am going to start with this one here. Nope, not that one, not that one, not uh, this one. Alright, here we go. A mi Wait, no, where the <laughs> fuck was it? Okay. A husband came home with a half gallon of ice cream and asked his wife if she wanted some. How hot is it? She asked. About as hot as my dick! He replied. She says, pour me some. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for us, Laugh Hour? Wait, what's a Mexican's favorite sport? What? Cross country. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, you, you ready yet? Black Lives Matter. <laughs> a man bought a new range of Olympic condoms. Three, uh, there are three colors, he told his wife. Gold, silver, and bronze. <clears throat> what color are you going to wear tonight, she asked. Gold, of course, he rep re replied proudly. Well, why don't you wear silver, she asked. It'd be nice if you came second for a change. Giggity, 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 giggity. giggity, giggity, giggity. What do you got for Steve? On Angry Working Elvis. On He's still looking. Okay, so. Uh, right. So, what do you call two Mexicans playing basketball? What? One on one. <laughs> what did the Mexican. <laughs> one on one. <laughs> what did the Mexican guy throw. Or why did the Mexican guy throw his wife off the cliff? Why? Tequila. <laughs> A married couple was lying in bed at night. The wife had settled down, ready to go to sleep, but the husband was reading a book by the light of his bedside lamp. As he was reading, he paused momentarily, reached over to his wife, and started fondling her pussy before resuming reading his book. Aroused by his touch, she got out of bed and slipped off her nightdress. The husband was mystified. What are you doing? he asked. You were playing with my pussy, he replied to the wife. Oh, no, the... Uh, <laughs> You were playing with my pussy, replied the wife. I thought it was foreplay for something heavier. The husband exclaimed, Hell no, I was just wetting my fingers so I could turn the page. <laughs> oh Zane, hold on, Zane. Cannibal eats a clown and said this tastes funny. <laughs> <laughs> a guy from West Virginia goes to the doctor. Doc comes in and asks, What can I do for you today? I'd like to get some birth control for my daughter. How old's your daughter? She's 14. She's sexually active? Nah, she just lies there like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a Greek with 500 girlfriends? What? <laughs> a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the Chinese girl for her number. Yeah, she I said, one. sex, 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 free sex tonight. I said, wow. Then her friend said, she means 6663629. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, what else we got, guys? What's the difference between a Jew and the San Antonio Spurs? What? <laughs> the Spurs could beat the Heat. <laughs> <laughs> a man and his wife had an argument in bed, after which he stepped downstairs. <clears throat> the next day, she felt guilty and decided to buy him a present. As he was a keen golfer, she went to the pro shop. The pro shop suggested a putter. 
and showed her one of the best in stock. $150, said the pro. That's a bit expensive, but it comes with an inscription. What kind of inscription? Whatever you like. But one of the old golfer's favorite is never up, never in. Oh, that'll do, said the wife. After all, that's what started the argument in the first place. Ha, ah, giggity. <laughs> how many white people does it take to change a light bulb? What? How? <laughs> all of them. One to hold the light bulb and the rest to screw the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my favorite sexual position is? What? A JFK. I splatter all over her while she screams and try to get out of the car. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this one's I never I I've never seen a structured married men one, but two married men were discussing their sex lives. One asked, "Does your wife ever let you do it doggy fashion?" Not exactly," replied the second. "She's more into doing doggy tricks." Wow," said the first. "Does what does that entail? Sounds pretty kinky." "Sadly, it's not," said the second. Whenever I make a, a move, she rolls over and plays dead. <laughs> so, guys, why can't you fool an aborted baby? Why? Why? It wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, that's nice. <laughs> what do you call a Filipino contortionist? What? <laughs> a manila folder. <laughs> <laughs> that one's way too long. What's you know one? what the most positive thing about the black population is? What? HIV. <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, do you guys actually know? Okay, just so you know, do you guys actually know how much cocaine Charlie Sheen, uh, Charlie Sheen has sniffed? What? Uh, <laughs> Enough to kill two and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> so I was raping a woman the other night, and she said, "Please think of my children." Kinky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> A researcher carrying out a survey on marital sex phoned one of this, uh, the participants to check on a discrepancy. He asked the husband, in response to the question on frequency of intercourse, you answered once a week, but your wife has answered several times a night. That's correct, said the husband, and that's the way it's going to be until the mortgage is paid off. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Fucking whore. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't like the married ones. Did you hear about the little black kid that had diarrhea? No. <laughs> he thought he was melting. They want bad black jokes like that a bunch. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's put on uh, microphone four. You are, you are on. Just bring that down to your mouth. Oh. thousand black people buried up to their necks. What do you call it? AstroTurf. AfroTurf. Afro -turf. Afro -turf, yeah. What's a black kid with a new bicycle? A what? thief. A thief. What's a black kid in a suit? What? Defendant. defendant. <laughs> well, the dependent, defendant rise. <laughs> what? what do you call a black, a thousand black people on a boat? What? A good start. <laughs> Why are all black people so agile? Why? You would be too if you spent nine months dodging a coat hanger. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. A guy arrived home from work to find a stranger screwing his wife. What the hell are you two doing? demanded the husband. His wife turned to the stranger and said, See, I told you he was stupid. <laughs> what do you think we're doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's nice having new jokes. I like it. <laughs> oh, shit. What are we just uh, out of curiosity? I haven't looked at this in a while. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, get our closing jokes in, and we, we are need, going to... Need more sing-along. It's not the future. All right. Get your closing jokes in, and we will do one more sing-along before we end the night. How many, how many Pollocks does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Ten. One to screw in a light bulb and nine to hold the ladder. Oh. 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 oh, wait. Why don't got? black guys like blowjobs? Why? They hate jobs in general. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> would you like to read Zane's? I can't see it. Hold that thought. I still... 
Oh, wow, your screen's tiny. Black guy gets his nuts cut wearing a tux. He says, if I'm going to be, be important, important, I might as well, well look, look impotent. impotent. Yeah. <laughs> Giggity. Giggity. What do Nike and the KKK have in common? What's that? They Just... make black men run fast. <laughs> 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 All right, so we are going to set up, and this will be uh, our last thing of the evening before our closer... Oh, I'm sorry. Here's one more. This one, Go ahead. I haven't heard this one before. What do you call a fat Chinese person? What? A chunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I got one. Oh, uh, I, go I actually no. Well, no. no, no while we're setting up, go say ahead. It. No, I'm ready. To say go, it. So. Say it. What do you call a young black kid? What? A nigglet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you call a young Puerto Rican kid? What? A speck. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't heard that one before. Okay. All right. Here we go. Not the future. Hopefully he's got the lyrics this time. We love you guys. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Hey. Angry Elvis, you should be it's in time. Oh, 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 thank you very much. Fuck you very much. <laughs> Favorite bad lip reading. I don't Me know too. the lyrics to it. Because the lyrics I just there. dance badly. So. Let's do Carl Papa That's all instead. I did. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just fine. We'll do Carl Papa. Okay. Let's do Carl Papa instead. Carl Papa. It's right there. It's it's literally. It's literally. It was, it was literally I, a click away. The, no, the reason why I do it, it pings your searches and brings up similar things. That's how the side populates. So I like to search in the search bar. Search bar. Search bar. There we go. Bam. Full screen. Bam. Full screen. Vroom, vroom. I still want to do this. <laughs> You're listening to the new single from Carl Grimes. This is Carl Papa. Coming at you on the hot power 96.9 box the jam. Beat. Cause he's pretend dread boy Little cookie man Never waved to me So he got knocked out Because I flow The Jiggy Jar Jar dude Dirt 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 Man I flow Shoe shine No one wanted your stinking tiara No one wanted your stinky chair Why you always talk about the cool kids And take archery you're a shooky dick. If you get a funeral, if you don't watch open, call me, call Papa. Oh, oh, oh. Jar Jar Dude. Dar 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 dar. That's just a flow. Shoe shine, bit. I'm a brick in the air. It doesn't matter because a brick is just a brick. Dark days, darker nights. I found my way down the hall without a light because I flow. The Jiggy Jar Jar Dude! Dirt, 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 dirt. This whole thing where random dead people try to throw ah, the go. They keep walking, walking my way. If they're talking, can you tell what they say? They keep falling over stuff in their way. If dudes walking, can ruin your day. Oh, black. 
wisdom. wisdom. Fritz Fritz Bray, Bray, tabletop. If you mess with the car, Papa. Oh, I'm coming at you like one, two. Walking to the back of the club. This is a club where everyone dies. They try to dance to the music that doesn't play. Cause they don't have no electricity. All we got is bones, bones, bones. Piles of bones, 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 bones. Every time they turn me, hit you with a fever. With another fever that is laying on the ground. Yeah. Oh, Works, man. Hamalama, shamalama, hamalama, shamalama, 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 Over stuff in their way. Can ruin your day. I actually have one request. Taco lips. Is that baby tussy lips? Two lips. Jiggy jar jar do, baby. But no, we need to do some bone thugs. Oh God, I would bone love thugs to. Thugs oh, please, Jiggy please, jar please. Jar. So, I, I have a feeling right now. Oh, holy shit, there's a whole lot of... Oh, holy fuck. Black guy gets his neck cut wearing... Yeah, there's one topic, and I will I will say this right now, and I'm only saying it one time. We will never, ever say the words DCF in my presence ever really bad shit has happened and i'm one of three people who have won against the state of massachusetts and that is a very 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 two of three sore topic two of three two of three so with that i have a feeling my hand wasn't there oh my shoulders there's a weird feeling in my shoulders can you feel that guys oh, oh yeah Oh, you have just listened to another episode of the Studio One Podcast. We love you. I'm A. Cortez. Live fire. Angry Elvis. And uh, Sandman. And Sandman. Where's KBT? But we shall see you all next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I will post the event on all our social media. So in closing, go free Ballhead! Ballhead! And today, filling in for KBT, I will do the honors. It is now safe to end your live stream. Oh. Make, oh. make your choice.